This video is for healthcare professionals, patients, and those who will be administering Teva's teriparatide injection. Cleaning, storage, and disposal procedures will be reviewed, as well as tips for troubleshooting. Begin by first reading the medication guide that comes inside the teriparatide injection carton. Next, before using a new teriparatide injection delivery device, please read the entire front and back of the user manual completely. Follow the directions carefully when using the teriparatide injection delivery device. In addition, do not share the delivery device or needles because infection or disease can be spread from one person to another. Teriparatide injection is a medication used to treat osteoporosis and is supplied in a disposable, pre-filled delivery device. Each teriparatide injection delivery device contains 28 days of medication. It may be helpful to track the start and end dates in a calendar. Throw away the teriparatide injection delivery device after 28 days, even if it is not completely empty. In addition, it is important that you do not inject more than one dose of teriparatide injection in the same day. Be sure you do not attempt to transfer the medicine in the teriparatide injection delivery device into a syringe. Doing so could result in administering the wrong dose of medicine. Now, let's take a look at the parts of the teriparatide injection delivery device, including the black injection button, yellow shaft, red stripe, label, body of the injector, medicine cartridge, and blue cap. Please note that needles are not included. Becton, Dickinson, or BD, pen needles are recommended for use with this device. Its parts include a paper tab, a needle, a small needle protector, and a large needle cover. The Becton Dickinson needle would attach at this junction of Teva's teriparatide injection delivery device. Take the teriparatide injection delivery device out of the refrigerator and plan to administer the injection soon afterward. Before every injection, Wash your hands and prepare the injection site as a healthcare provider instructed. Now, let's review the steps in administration. Check the teriparatide injection delivery device label to make sure you have the right medicine and that it has not expired. Do not use the teriparatide injection delivery device if it has expired. Take a look at the device. Do not use if the teriparatide delivery device looks damaged, if the medicine in the cartridge is not clear and colorless, or if it has particles in it. Remember, you need to use a new needle for each injection. Pull off the paper tab and then push needle straight onto medicine cartridge. Next, screw on needle clockwise until firmly attached. Pull off large needle cover and save it. You will use the large needle cover later to help you safely throw the needle away. To set the dose, first pull out the black injection button until it stops. This indicates you have loaded a single dose of medication into the device. If you cannot pull out the black injection button, it means there is not enough medicine in the teriparatide injection delivery device for another dose. Although you may still see some medicine left in the cartridge, change to a new teriparatide injection delivery device to administer the dose. It is important that you check to make sure the red stripe shows. Next, Pull off the small needle protector and throw it away. To inject the dose, gently hold a fold of skin on the thigh or abdomen and insert needle straight into skin. During injection, you may hear one or more clicks. This is normal. After the needle has been inserted straight into the skin, push in the black injection button until it stops. By holding the black injection button in and slowly counting to five, you ensure you are delivering the correct dose of medication. After you have reached five, 
pull the needle straight out from the skin. It's critical to ensure that you have injected the correct dose of medication. After removing the needle from the skin, take your thumb off the black injection button. Check to make sure the black injection button is all the way in. If the yellow shaft does not show, you have finished the injection steps the right way. At this point, you should not see any of the yellow shaft. If you do and have already injected the medicine, do not inject a second dose on the same day. Instead, you must reset the teriparatide injection delivery device for injection on the following day. We'll examine that process and other troubleshooting approaches later in this video. Now that you've confirmed the dose, put the large needle cover on the needle. Do not try to put the needle cover back on with your hands. Next, unscrew the covered needle all the way by giving the large needle cover three to five counterclockwise turns. Once you pull off the needle, throw it away in a puncture-resistant container. After you have safely thrown away the needle, push the blue cap back on the device. It is now ready for the next injection. Right after use, place the Teva Teriparatide injection delivery device in the refrigerator. Now that we've explored proper procedures, let's review potential problems and the corrective actions you can take. Let's consider this potential problem. The yellow shaft is still showing after I push in the black injection button. How do I reset the teriparatide injection delivery device? If you have already injected, do not inject a second time on the same day. Instead, follow these steps. First, remove the needle. Attach a new needle, pull off the large needle cover, and save it. Pull out the black injection button until it stops. Check to make sure the red stripe shows. Pull off the small needle protector and throw away. Point the needle down into an empty container. Push in the black injection button until it stops. Hold it in and slowly count to five. You may see a small stream or drop of fluid. When you have finished, the black injection button should be all the way in. If you still see the yellow shaft showing, contact Teva Customer Service at 1-888-838-2872 or a healthcare provider. If the black injection button is all the way in, put the large needle cover on needle. Unscrew the needle all the way by giving the needle cover three to five counterclockwise turns. Pull off the covered needle and throw away as instructed by a healthcare provider. Push the blue cap back on and put the teriparatide injection delivery device in the refrigerator. You can prevent this problem by always using a new needle for each injection and by pushing the black injection button all the way in and slowly counting to five. Now, let's consider this potential problem. How can I tell if the teriparatide injection delivery device works? In this case, the black injection button should be all the way in to show that the full dose of medicine has been injected from the teriparatide injection delivery device. Remember, it's important to use a new needle every time you inject to be sure the teriparatide injection delivery device will work properly. What happens if there is an air bubble in the teriparatide injection delivery device? A small air bubble will not affect the dose and will not cause harm. You can continue to administer the dose as usual. Now, what should you do if you cannot get the needle off? Let's review the steps for removing the needle. Put the large needle cover on the needle. Use the large needle cover to unscrew the needle. Unscrew the needle all the way by giving the large needle cover three to five counterclockwise turns. If you still cannot get the needle off, ask someone to help you. Proper cleaning and storage of Teva's teriparatide injection delivery device is important. 
Let's review some guidelines to help you take care of your device. When cleaning the teriparatide injection delivery device, wipe the outside of it with a damp cloth. Do not place the device in water or wash or clean it with any liquid. After each use, refrigerate the teriparatide injection delivery device right away. Do not store the teriparatide injection delivery device with a needle attached. Doing this may cause air bubbles to form in the medicine cartridge. Also, store the teriparatide injection delivery device with the blue cap on. It is important that you do not freeze the teriparatide injection. If the teriparatide injection delivery device has been frozen, throw the device away and use a new teriparatide injection delivery device. Additionally, if the teriparatide injection delivery device has been left out of the refrigerator, do not throw the device away. Instead, place the delivery device back in the refrigerator and call Teva Pharmaceuticals USA Inc. at 1-888-838-2872 for assistance. Let's review some of the following key points about this medication. Teva's teriparatide injection delivery device contains 28 days of medicine. Do not transfer teriparatide injection to a syringe. This may result in you taking the wrong dose of medicine. Additionally, read and follow the instructions in the user manual so that you use the teriparatide injection delivery device the right way. Be sure to check the teriparatide injection delivery device label to make sure you have the right medicine and that it has not expired. Do not use the teriparatide injection delivery device if it looks damaged. Look at the teriparatide injection medicine in the cartridge. If the medicine is not clear and colorless, or if it has particles, do not use it. Call customer service at Teva Pharmaceuticals USA Inc. at 1-888-838 2872 if you notice any of these. Don't forget to use a new needle for each injection. Also, during injection, you may hear one or more clicks. This is normal. The teriparatide injection delivery device is not recommended for use by the blind or by those who have vision problems without help from a person trained in the proper use of the device. Keep your teriparatide injection delivery device and needles out of the reach of children. You will dispose of the teriparatide injection delivery device 28 days after first use. Before throwing away the teriparatide injection delivery device, be sure to remove the pen needle. Then, throw away the teriparatide injection delivery device and used needles as instructed by healthcare providers, local or state laws, or institutional policies. Please see the user manual provided with the injection delivery device carton. Let's take a few moments to review key safety details. What is the most important information I should know about teriparatide injection? possible bone cancer. During drug testing, the medicine in teriparatide injection caused some rats to develop a bone cancer called osteosarcoma. Studies in people have not shown that teriparatide injection increases your chance of getting osteosarcoma. There is little information about the chance of getting osteosarcoma in patients using teriparatide injection beyond two years. Who should not use teriparatide injection? Do not use teriparatide injection if you are allergic to any of the ingredients in teriparatide injection. See the end of the medication guide for a complete list of the ingredients in teriparatide injection. Symptoms of a serious allergic reaction of teriparatide injection may include swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat that may cause difficulty in breathing or swallowing. Call your healthcare provider right away or get emergency medical help if you get any of these symptoms. What should I tell my healthcare provider before using teriparatide injection? 
Before you use teriparatide injection, tell your healthcare provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you have a certain bone disease called Paget's disease or other bone disease, have bone cancer or have had a history of bone cancer, are a young adult whose bones are still growing, have had radiation therapy, are affected with a condition that runs in your family that can increase your chance of getting cancer in your bones, have or have had too much calcium in your blood, hypercalcemia, have or have had a skin condition with painful sores or wounds caused by too much calcium, have or have had kidney stones, take medicines that contain digoxin, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, it is not known if teriparatide injection will harm your unborn baby. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? It is not known if teriparatide passes into your breast milk. You should not breastfeed while taking teriparatide injection. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Know the medicines you take. Keep a list of them to show your healthcare provider and pharmacist when you get a new medicine. What are the possible side effects of teriparatide injection? Teriparatide injection may cause serious side effects including See what is the most important information I should know about teriparatide injection. Bone cancer, osteosarcoma. Tell your healthcare provider right away. If you have pain in your bones, pain in any areas of your body that does not go away, or any new or unusual lumps or swelling under your skin that is tender to touch. Increase calcium in your blood. Tell your healthcare provider if you have nausea, vomiting, constipation, low energy, or muscle weakness. These may be signs there is too much calcium in your blood. Worsening of your kidney stones. If you have or have had kidney stones, your healthcare provider may check the calcium levels in your urine while you use teriparatide injection to see if there is worsening of this condition. Decrease in blood pressure when you change positions. Some people may feel dizzy, get a fast heartbeat, or feel lightheaded right after the first few doses of teriparatide injection. This usually happens within four hours of taking teriparatide injection and goes away within a few hours. For the first few doses, give your injections of teriparatide injection in a place where you can sit or lie down right away if you get these symptoms. If your symptoms get worse or do not go away, contact your healthcare provider before you continue using teriparatide injection. The most common side effects of teriparatide injection include pain, nausea, and joint aches. These are not all the possible side effects of teriparatide injection. For more information, ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. What is teriparatide injection? Teriparatide injection is a prescription medicine used to treat postmenopausal women who have osteoporosis, who are at high risk for having broken bones, fractures, or who cannot use other osteoporosis treatments. Teriparatide injection can lessen the chance of broken bones, fractures in the spine and other bones in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis. Increase the bone mass in men with primary or hypogonadal osteoporosis who are at high risk for having broken bones, fractures, or who cannot use other osteoporosis treatments. Treat both men and women with osteoporosis due to use of glucocorticoid medicines such as prednisone for several months who are at high risk for having broken bones, fractures, or who cannot use other osteoporosis treatments. It is not known if teriparatide injection is safe and effective in children. Teriparatide injection should not be used in children and young adults whose bones are still growing. Please read the medication guide 
and the full prescribing information. If you have questions or need help with a teriparatide injection delivery device, contact Teva Pharmaceuticals USA, Inc. at 1-888-838-2872 or a healthcare provider.